The jump rope skip. One of our favorite steps for long distance skipping, endurance skipping. I'm Tim Haft and you're looking at Shauna Brady from Punk Rope. And the focus of this video is the skip step. Now in a lot of countries all jump rope is called skipping so that can be a little confusing but we're using skipping in the sense of how you might skip <laughs> down the yellow brick road um, or skip in recess. It's one of our favorite gates because it's fairly gentle. Um, without the rope, if Shauna turns to the side and does a skip in place, now that's a little awkward because we don't normally skip in place, but it's a step and a hop. The hop is tiny. In fact, I'll try to close in a little bit. There you go. Sometimes they call it an A-skip for training. Like. Yeah, you'll see a lot of sprinters skip, and there are various kinds of skips. There are speed skips and power skips and extended skips, but um, for our purposes, we're just going to call it the skip. <laughs> um, so, super light, really great for forward motion. You can also use it for backward motion. It's a little bit more challenging coordination wise. But one of the things that we think is super exciting is using this step with your rope for distance. And over the years, I think it's been 10 years now, we have used this step for roughly 15 or 25 Ks. And there she goes. And it usually takes us about 45 minutes to go the three miles. And we build in a little bit of rest. Typically some swinging, otherwise your shoulders really start to bother you. But it's a lot of fun great conditioning and you get a ton of attention. Everyone thinks you're a superhero when you go out and skip a 5k with a jump rope. So let's break it down for you. You, you, you saw the move with no rope before. Step, hop, step, hop. And without a rope there's arm swing and so the arms work in opposition to the legs, right? So when the uh, left knee drives forward, so does the right arm, and vice versa. Okay, But with the rope it's a little bit different because those elbows are pinned to your sides. So then Shauna can take the rope and swing it to the side um, just to get the feel of performing the movement while swinging. Okay, good. She's going to bring it back. Awesome. Now folks, the biggest challenge here, what we see a lot, is people trying to go too fast with this step and it ends up being a run as opposed to a skip. Run, 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 run. So it ends up being a turn for every step and that's not going to work. What you want is one turn per gate cycle. So step, hop, turn, step, hop, turn, step, hop, turn. It's actually quite slow and relaxed if you want it to be. The foot turnover is never fast. Uh, there can be power but the feet don't really move very quickly. With power, what you'll see is a higher knee. <laughs> you see a higher knee driving into the air. Okay, so now we've practiced with no rope. We've practiced with the rope to the side. Let's put all the pieces together. Uh, and by the way, for some folks, they like a slightly longer rope 
with this step um, because they're going to swing that rope forward a fair bit and if it's a short rope it might bounce or it might not even get under their feet so a few few extra inches probably won't hurt you okay so here Shauna goes and just that very first turn is really key because I think a lot of people get confused what to do so you want to think through how she's doing a backwards skip which is way challenging um, but a lot of fun <laughs> a little bit like uh, yeah like a backwards skip with you know with no rope um, here it is again in place step hop step hop and you see that slow turn one turn for a complete cycle that's great so what we would recommend is starting with a short distance maybe 50 meters or so if you can find a track a forgiving surface or a gymnasium perhaps go half court then full court and then once you're comfortable with that see if you can find a track we like to go to a 400 meter track and test yourself see if you can get all the way around without any misses and then ultimately if you want to layer on speed you can try and do that uh, see turning. <laughs> turning is challenging okay so turning on a track um, you've got that curve right and you're gonna lean in a little bit so the challenge is gonna be controlling the rope so it doesn't swing too far and then catch your feet Let's see if we can get a little look at this so here Shauna is turning clockwise very nice that's awesome so there's going to be some body control here and definitely a fair bit of rope control. Here she's going counterclockwise. Uh, which most tracks, by the way, you run counterclockwise. So um, it's something you're going to want to practice if you intend to go around the track. And then once you're ready, it's time to sign up for a 5K, get out that jump rope, and skip that race. And we guarantee you're going to get a lot of good attention it's gonna be fun so there you have it the skip step for distance again one of our favorites thank you so much for joining us please subscribe to our channel visit us at punkrope.com and any questions jot them down below and we'll answer them as quickly as we can and we will see you next time.